PayPal versus Stripe, which is better in 2023. In this tutorial tutorial video, I'm going to talk about both PayPal and versus Stripe and uh, both are popular and I'm going to talk in terms of ease of use payment options, global reach, fees, and um, security, of course, customer support, payment disputes, subscription, and I think that's it. So let's jump right into this video. Now, just a general observation, both has its own uh, strengths and weaknesses. And uh, now let's start with ease of use. Both PayPal and Stripe offer user-friendly interfaces and easy integration into websites, application. And um, Stripe is known for its developer-friendly documentation. If you want documentation, documentation <laughs> and APIs, then uh, Stripe is the right option for you and this is um, really good for developers and on the other hand PayPal is often uh, chosen for its recognizable brand and widespread user base and uh, now payment options PayPal supports a wide range of payment methods including credit debit cards uh, bank transfers, PayPal, Balance, and, and Stripe is also versatile and supports credit, debit cards, digital wallets, and, uh, you know, for example, Apple Pay, Google Play, and really local payment methods in many countries. Now, for global reach, PayPal has a presence in over 200 countries <laughs> That's and, and supports transitions in multiple currencies. Stripe, while rapidly expanding, might not be available in all countries and currencies at the same scale as PayPal. Fees, both PayPal and Stripe charge transition fees for processing payments the fee structure may vary based on factors such as transition of volume location and currency and it's essential to compare the fees for your uh, specific use case right now security security both platforms are reputable and and prioritizes security measures to protect sensitive and uh, financial information right uses encryption and uh, safeguard data and, and just encryption so yeah both are secure now customer support PayPal offers phone and email support while Stripe primarily provides support through email and a developed com uh, community. Customer support experiences may vary based on, on user feedback and uh, yeah. Now payment disputes and handling disputes and chargebacks is an essential aspect of payment processing. Both platforms have um, have processes in place to manage these situations but PayPal's dispute revolution system may be more uh, familiar with ma many users now subscription and your recurring payments stripe has been favored by businesses with reoccurring billing or needs due to its advanced subscription management features which I really recommend because I know I've used both services, both, and uh, Stripe is really good. If you have a business, e-commerce business, Stripe is the right choice for you. And um, people also support subscription and some users find uh, Stripe subscription capabilities more robust and easier to implement, which I, I really agree with. I As I said, I've tested both, but if you have a business, need a subscription, you have clients, um, 
and the payments are large or you know a lot of money then uh, stripe is the right choice for you but if you just want to buy things online if you have some clients be people maybe to donate to you or just to send you money and it's not like a business or if it is a reason uh, if even if it is a business but it's a small business you can still use PayPal but I'm I think on um, on the long term uh, you know Stripe is, is a better choice because if you have a business and a large business then I think it's more it, it's just better but uh, yeah uh, that's just my subjective experience and uh, you still do your own research and uh, fight, uh, find which service is the right fit for you. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're going to have a fantastic day. Make sure you leave your comments down below. I'm really curious to read your thoughts in the comment section to read what you have to say. Know your, your opinion. I'm really curious. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.